How old do you picture a couple that travels in a hearse? I'm gonna say 23 and 24. You think it's a young couple? Uh yeah, unless they are a retired uh hearse people, hearseman, hearse woman, and they just had an old funeral home that they shut down because then they have it left over. Then I'm gonna say first guess 22, 23, right around there. Second guess 90. So there's no in between though. No. They can't be 45. I don't think so. I don't think so either. No. When I saw it, though, I was definitely like some 65-year-old hippies just rebelling and hitting the coast. What we got? Okay. Impressively enough, I'm, 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 let's, let's, let's see if we can get it pulled up here. All right. Yep. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> 24 and 31. They're 20. A couple, okay. Yeah. See, I was I was thinking of younger people because I was like, listen, they're younger. Maybe maybe they're fresh out of college, which is a pretty good chance. They're like, listen, I got a degree in communications. What am I going to do with it? Nothing, <laughs> because there is no jobs in communications. So they're like, let's just buy a Hearst for like fifteen hundred. Get that T out of there. I don't see it. I want to know how you spell this word. It's it, it, look at the title. Coverta Hearst. <laughs> the grit. The Grim Sleeper. H H E A R S E Hearst. And that's how it's going to be. It's hers. Okay. Um, I I don't even know much about it, but looking at the picture, I've got a dog too. That, I, I'm not. Surprised. It's a family vehicle. Family vehicle now. Wait, is that in Europe? Yes. Okay. What else you know about these that maybe we should know? Okay. I I've, have been to a funeral. Yeah. And I've seen inside of hers. And I've got to say, they're good. They've got wheels on the back. All yes. your luggage and stuff like that, so mobile. If you're, if you're loading things and loading things, traveling, maybe an optimal vehicle is a hearse. That's not a bad idea at all. Why don't UPS trucks have wheels on them? Oh my goodness. I came up with an invention, dude. Just listen, now. listen. UPS truck, FedEx truck. I'm not going to be specific. We'll even do, um, uh, what's that one? DHL. We'll even say that. We're trying to be neutral, whatever. All right, but listen. We invent a truck. It's pretty much a U-Haul, but it has wheels that come up, and then just, it just like, it just, you press a button, and one little lever turns, one little crank turns, and the wheels go down so that everything won't shake around. But... And then, so that's in the hallway, right? So you right. turn them off when you're walking back to get the packages. When you're unloading the packages, you say, eh, or even, eh, nye, nye, nye. if you want to do manual, it's cheaper. The wheels come up. You set them in the hallway, slide them out. Set it off the truck into the hallway. You slide it out. I don't know how familiar you, you are with FedEx trucks. Mildly. Yeah, I've been in one. But do you see what I'm talking about? Because that's, that's, that's something. I mean, that's what a dolly does, though. Yes. Yes. But you don't have to have one. But a dolly is more useful because when you get off the truck, you still have the wheels. I think we should move into beta testing. <laughs> okay. So, do they made it? And they're nice. I wonder what kind of mattress that is. I bet that. I wonder. If, I wonder if it's a nice mattress. You know, I th oh that makes goodness. a big difference. Oh my gosh, I got a story. You probably don't know this. By the way, he knows nothing about outdoors. I'm just gonna say that, and I'm pretty confident in it too. But I've there, been outdoors before. There is a YouTuber channel called Seek One. They actually ha Oh, never mind. They bought a limo <laughs> and used it to haul deer and stuff. Okay, my next question. I think a hearse would be better. If you are gonna road trip, what's the optimal vehicle? All right, and don't road. say don't say an RV because that's easy. No, that's, I don't think it is. Oh, listen, you seen those vans? That's pretty much a U-Haul, like an F four hundred and fifty. You cut out the seats, leave one one seat, put a bed in the back, or just sleep in the seat, and then put like tools in the back so that when you stop, you can work and nope. make money. No, like those. Those, they're like tiny homes or whatever that are just like regular vans. Those are awesome. Like if I come across those on Snapchat, I watch them all day. Those are awesome. Like the like the Mercedes, uh, yeah, van RV. That's yeah. way better than an RV could ever be. Yeah, probably a lot cheaper on gas, and you can drive it through a McDonald's parking lot. And they're not super tall, so you can put stuff on top. They are regularly sized. Yeah. So, 
I'm down well, for RV those. industry. We're coming for you. <laughs> FedEx truck industry. I'm coming There's for you. There's a lot of industries. Okay. That's the first part of the question. So you got your you got your new van that you've created. Oh wait, that wasn't yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you gonna road trip it at? Oh what where where is this going? Is this the Midwest? You gonna you gonna take a road trip to Hawaii? I would first say Midwest. I mean, no, I'm not saying Midwest. I'm saying Midwest. There's nothing there, so that's off the list. What are you gonna do? Go look at corn. We'll see. Look at corn, wheat. You you've been fooled. Mainstream media's got to you. That's where everything is, and that's why they don't tell you that anything's there. So it doesn't get <clears throat> touristy. What is there? I can't tell you either because <laughs> they don't tell me. But I know there's just some in Midwest. I can tell you right now, there's not much. But that's what I told you. That's not the truth. I'm not saying I'm lying. Everybody, I'm everybody saying, check out the upcoming KG Midwest uh, road trip podcast. <laughs> yeah, in my new uh, F450. But yeah, I mean, honestly though, out of out of all the vehicles that you could modify into actually serving a decent purpose, a Hearst is a pretty good one because I guarantee they're not expensive. That's probably fair. And I guarantee they've not been put the miles on them. Imagine getting a Hearst that has a ton of miles on it. You know how many people that equals up to being, you know. They didn't even pay $5,000 for this. Oh, my god! And it was already made like this. And I It was already customized. Who? Somebody missed out because they already made this and was living in this. And they didn't get a news article about them. That's rough. That is true because they bought it already converted. Already converted. Dang. They didn't have a YouTube channel. Sad. Whoever and then they the literally, they literally the just bought it and then sell. told the news people and then got that. And then they probably sold it right after. Sold it honestly made a profit because that marketed for them. Created, yeah. They created the market. I'm telling you, dude, Facebook Marketplace, that's literally just the place to be nowadays. Except we post, posted chickens on there and they took it down because apparently you're not allowed to sell animals. It's insane. I caught they're not they're not animals though, they're tools, chickens. And food. They're a lot. A lot a lot of different means a lot of different people. Yeah. They create they're a machine. Okay. But a school bus. Have you ever seen like those like uh tailgating party bus things like converted and it's like basically just like a hangout in a bus? They're so big. Yeah. They're huge. It's like a tour bus though. I mean, it, it basically is an RV, just if with you, more windows. Yeah. And more floor space if you don't fill it up. It's modular. It's the word of the day, modular. But when you but when you park, most RVs and campers, they expand. So you get more space through that, though, too. I don't know. Anything else you want to say about the... Um, the Grim Hearst, Sleeper? The Grim, the Grim Sleeper. I like that. I like that a lot. Good job. That's another thing. If you have a vehicle like this... If you have a vehicle like this, you have to have a good nickname, or else it's nothing. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a hearse. If you don't just have an it. old car, yeah, with a bed in it. That's just sad. <laughs> that's, that's really sad. <laughs> then you put the Grim Sleeper. But, but then you that s- thing's epic. Then it's. I want it. Y- yeah. I bet it's for sale. I mean, they don't put those kind of numbers in there for nothing. They're like, hey, this is what we got it for. If you're looking to take it off our hands, <laughs> that or a, they're trying to flex on you with it. Imagine these people. These these RVs around it. You just pull up and you see just a tent on the side of a hearse. <laughs> That's just a tent. That's just a tent squatted up on the side oh, of a yeah. If you want to see the full podcast, click the first link in the description and check it out.